Welcome, Bob Kelly here with Flexera to tell you about a new script created by technical product manager Kieran Mintagi, which will help you to automatically create and process many of the applications you're responsible for maintaining by leveraging Admin Studio's package feed module and its PowerShell support. We know all too well the challenges you face with vendor patching and package creation. Hours are spent researching each application online to determine what's the latest version, then you have to get it, then you have to verify how to go about silently installing it, if that can be customized, and then you have to know how to go about best detecting that application once it's been deployed. All of this takes considerable time and time that you can avoid wasting with the help of the package feed module. This time-saving resource includes details on about 3,000 different installers available in the market today. Included are validated silent installation commands for about 2,000 installers, integrated download capability for 2,500 installers, and in many cases, detection rules, which can be valuable when deploying the applications with systems like Microsoft's Configuration Manager. Interactively, the package feed module is very easy to use. You add an application to the application catalog, by looking it up in the package feed module. You're able to download it right inside Admin Studio, and you're presented with an editable silent command line. It couldn't be much simpler, but it does require looking up applications and clicking around. Thanks to the automation capabilities provided in Admin Studio Enterprise, you can completely automate this whole process. With this, you'll be able to turn a list of applications into a list of packages. The input can be any inventory source. We only need the vendor and the title to do a match. And the output, of course, can be whatever format you desire. Because once you pull it in, download it, and have that silent command line, you can quickly automate the conversion to the format of your choice. You could wrap it in a template-based script. You can even publish it to the distribution system of your choice. And so now I'm ready to share some details on just how you can go about doing this. The script we provided has a couple of operations. One, to massage the list of your products so that they can match the package feed module and get an accurate lookup so you're automating the creation of the right package. And then, of course, to process that list and do the work. The cool thing is running this script regularly will allow you to keep up with the latest versions of each application as they're released by the vendor. We start with a simple CSV file that contains product name and vendor. Over here in Admin Studio, you can see that there are currently no applications in the catalog. Looking at the script, you'll see an area here up on top identified as User Defined Settings. Here, you can specify the values for these variables to identify your environment for connecting to your SQL Server database and optionally connecting to your distribution system of choice, which we have here as System Center Configuration Manager. Executing the script, the first thing you'll be asked for is the CSV file, and we'll provide the one that we were just working on. Then you can choose the column name for the product name and for the vendor name. Then we'll choose the action to take first, in this case, to search apps so we can perform matches for analysis. When the script is complete, open your CSV file back up and you'll see a few new rows have been added. Search result will tell you if a match was found, if multiple matches were found, or if no match was found. This can be good for basic filtering and judging the overall success of the operation. Matched product name and matched version represent the details of the results that came back. When there are multiple matches, the script will automatically choose the one at the top, and that may not be the right one. So to ensure that the script matches on the entry you want, copy the name from the proper entry to your product name column. That way, when the script runs, it'll be a single match, and you know it will be the right one. Now that we've saved our modifications to our software list, let's run the script again and provide that updated list. This time, because the new version of the list contains additional columns, you'll see them in the drop-down list, but just choose the product name and vendor column as you did before. This time we'll choose to process the apps, 
and we'll run the import test and wrap operations. I'm going to skip SCCM for this demo. And then we'll sit back and watch the script run. As it processes each entry in the list, you'll see its progress displayed, downloading, testing, and wrapping each of the items as we dictated. In this demo, only a subset of the tests are being executed to keep it quick, but this is easily and fully configurable in the settings of the product. Looking at the results, we can confirm which were imported with the simple test results, and we can also see that the specific architectures we specified are the ones that have been processed. And of course, the packages, along with the test results, are available in the Application Manager, as you'd expect. Among the other tests we could have run are Windows compatibility tests for specific versions of Windows 10. Best of all, you can execute this script on a regular basis to keep up with the latest versions of these applications as the vendor releases updates, all hands-free. You'll find the script alongside an article explaining its use in our online community at flexera.com. We would also love to get any of your feedback you may have there. And you can also find details and demos on the package feed module itself. And of course, you can download a trial of Admin Studio and experience this firsthand. Thank you.